This is how I want my hair, my natural hair, and this is how I want my clip-ins. So yes guys, we're gonna go into the unboxing and we're gonna go into the washing real quick and then we're gonna go into the installing of these clip-ins. It's pretty easy. It didn't take me a while and this is my first time wearing clip-ins. Like, I've never had to wear clip-ins. These clip-ins come in this lovely box and I loved the statement to be fresh, gifted, female and black. I love that. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it for you guys to see how it comes. Wow, I loved um, these items and they're supposed to help you work around the clip-ins with this brush. I guess to detangle the hair and then extra uh, combs uh, for you and then a satin bonnet. I thought, oh, I get a good nice nude colored satin bonnet i loved it i love that i really do um and also this is how it comes in this really sick um satin um bag that you can keep the clip-ins in after use and this is really lovely and this is how the clip-ins look like so these are 20 inches um hair clip-ins in a water kinky coily texture like I mentioned this is from Cold's Queen I love how the curls look like this is literally fresh and this is the first time I'm gonna be applying clip-ins on my hair so we're gonna see how it goes but yeah this is how they look like and yeah I'm just gonna give you a close-up on how the hair looks like and the texture it had a really a lot of volume and balance and yeah this is how you open it and close it so the first thing i did was wash it so this is really you wash it like you wash your hair so i did shampoo i did condition the hair and i applied a leave-in conditioner and i made it dry like i'm going to be showing you in this video so yeah just kind of wash it and i just want to show you that even when I was washing it, I could see the curls, I could see the shine on this wig, and it felt really soft on my hands, it was so fluffy, and I could see the curls. I love these kind of curls, I don't know, you know, um, the coily, it's a really good texture of clip-ins, and to believe that this is my first clip-ins, I did a good job, so if you're a beginner like me and you've never worn clip-ins or you don't want weeks or anything like that i think you should pick up some clip-ins super super easy and yeah it's ready to go honestly i love them and yeah so i went ahead and washed them make sure that you wash out the product you don't want the product in these curls look at that look at how it looks like that's how i imagine my hair you know that's how i imagine my natural hair but now this really looks realistic with our natural hair. I love, love these clip-ins. So yeah, I went ahead to apply a deep conditioner or conditioner. And um, yeah, you just wanna have to apply really good products. Just don't use work products. Just try to do good with your wigs. You know, treat them as you treat your hair. I was able to run my hands through this clip-in and I thought that was really, really cool. I love the feeling of rubbing my hands through this um, clip-ins and yeah that's how they look like after I applied the leave-in conditioner and just flopped them and so that's me I'm gonna be wearing these clip-ins for the next couple of weeks to see how I really do with clip-ins but yeah this is how much I would leave out and yes guys I can't conroe to save my life so I kind of managed to put my hair into some twists and just rub them around somewhat. And then I also put these uh, clip-ins in some twists. That's how I managed to style them. And so it's probably going to give me like a good twist out. And I think the volume is going to be amazing on this. But yeah, I don't know. I didn't use the mousse. I don't really like a lot of products on my wigs or clip-ins so i loved to just keep it natural keep it moving and so i did the, the most minimum to just show you how realistic these are but you can go ahead and use whichever products that you want if you're a person who loves to use mousses on your 
wigs it's also a very good product that it really produces for you good uh, curls but for me i wanted to just have a more realistic um uh, style which is usually what i do with my own hair so i didn't want to go far from that so that's it you open them up and i thought this was pretty simple but i was scared because i didn't know how to put them on but it was pretty simple as you can see uh, but yeah you can corner your hair you can you can do whatever you want to do with your own you know natural hair but for me i left my hair the way it was which is usually like this for the most part and i went ahead and just kind of layered them around my head and these clippings come in 10 pieces so you and they are different uh different um length so you can try to build up your own length however you want to do them and that's what i kind of followed so yeah and it was coming along fine and then i thought this is when you got to do the sides of your hair head and then i went ahead and did that too yeah i really didn't know what i was gonna go with but i went with a flip side method so which is what i usually wear when it comes to my own natural hair i like to have um a flip um side method on my natural hair so i went with that style because that's my style and but yeah you can wear it however you want um yeah you can leave out the hair or you don't have to leave out no hair like whatever works for you honestly you can i just wanted to leave out a little bit of hair not a lot um because for the most part i want my hair to be in a protective style so but i managed to leave a little bit of this hair uh in this braid that you can see and yeah it was pretty easy to do these clippings and i never thought i would achieve this style that i ended up with but i really did love um wearing them and i just love the fluffiness of these clippings they were so soft they were so bouncy like it really felt like i had my own hair out and it also was good because it's another way of protective styling that is super easy and you can take them down anytime you want you can lift them up i love it i'm just loving these things you guys lately because i'm protective styling and i'm a busy mom and i don't have time for my natural hair and i'm trying to grow it anyway so yeah this was the only piece that remained out of 10 it was just, i used nine pieces in total now so yeah i went ahead and unbraided this braid and i was pretty much ready to blend it um with this clippings and you guys already know that my hair is brown like i don't have black hair like dark hair or whatever i have brown hair and it's very evident in some of these uh, videos like um i have that you know my left out hair is kind of like feels like it's it's a dye but it's not this is literally my natural hair color it's brown like my eyes my eyes are brown guys so anyway you can tell that if you have dark hair or black hair it can blend really well with this uh with these clippings but even for me who has brown hair or it kind of like looks like it's tinted but it's not i promise you it's not this is how my hair really looks like my entire head of hair looks brown like this yeah i was you know i was able to um uh, uh, wear it and it just felt like a like a tint like i just wanted to tint my hair only at the at the top or um <laughs> at the front so yeah but yeah if you have really dark hair it should blend in very well with these clippings and i loved it i loved it and look at that look at that guys like you cannot see anything there are no clippings in here yeah i really honestly loved this and it's super easy i didn't have to do a lot and i really thank Curls Queen for sending these clippings to me i love them what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think of these clippings from Carl's Quinn 
so thank you so much Carl's Queen for sending in these clip-ins I really enjoyed them and of course I hope you guys enjoy them and anything that you want about this particular clip-ins I'm gonna leave everything in the description below about these clip-ins and you guys I'll see you in the next video bye Mwah.